Legend Total War here, and today we're rating another Dwarf Doomstack, this time covering Thoric Ironbrow with a Quarreler Doomstack. So what we've got here are 12 Quarrelers, all of them at least rank 7. We've got a Grudge Thrower here with the Master Rune of Disguise on it. We've got two Iron Breakers, one with the Master Rune of Stromny Redbeard giving an extra melee attack, and this one here providing extra ward save. We've got two Thanes, a, a Master Engineer, and a runesmith, and of course, uh, Thorek. Going up against uh, more than two full stacks of Dark Elves. They have Dark Conduit, which is, which is extremely dangerous if they've got any sort of fast units. Mal's Dark Blade is here, which that's going to be a pain. He's got tons of wood save. Um, I think we're probably best just trying to, trying to tank him and try to get the army losses on him rather than actually fight him. And uh, yeah, we're just, just a lot of force to deal with here. Order Resolve says it'll be pretty easy. But let's just see how it goes in manually resolve. It'd be pretty funny actually if um, auto resolve gets a better result than than manually. That'd be pretty funny, because um, you know we are up against a lot. None of our units will get wiped out in auto, so it does seem to be a very good auto army. So we're going up against I think slightly more than what we did with the. Um, with the Hammerer Doomstack, but I didn't have a lot of confidence with the Hammerers, so we didn't even use them at the start of the battle. But these guys here will set up a proper dwarf in position, which means sitting in the corner. Just go decide which corner. Yeah, probably this one over here. And I think I will set up a checkerboard formation. Which I don't normally do for dwarfs. I usually do it for high elves. Reason for that being because of their high range. And because these guys here essentially have higher range than the high elves, well then, what's stopping us from doing a checkerboard formation? Why not? So, let's do this. And uh, we'll see how we go. Alright, so start moving back. I think we'll have a bit of time before they arrive. Okay, looks good there. I think my biggest concern is dealing with their Dark Conduit. I think we're going to have to use these abilities here as well, because we... You know, that's part of the Doomstack using these things here. So... Let's just see. I wonder, if you get multiple um, engineers, can you use this, like, more than twice? I'm curious about that. And it's not like these abilities here will completely wipe out the enemy army. Alright, dragon incoming. One of the things that really truly sucks about dwarfs though, and this is one of the big things that holds them back in battles, is that you don't have any fast units. Well, I guess if you get a gyrocopter you can do it. Um, but yeah, you don't have any like fast heroes to go and harass them. Yeah, I guess you could you could do that with gyrocopters, but I don't know. It'd be great if an engineer could get a gyrocopter mount. That'd be so good. That that would actually be a significant boost to the dwarfs. All right, this guy here has got twenty percent magic resistance, but he should still try to avoid any magic attackers. All right, let's see about this one here. AI is pretty good at dodging this ability. And they don't seem to... Oh, here we go. They were a bit late on that. Which is good. And... Then that Dark Shard got wrecked. Good. Off we go. It is a reckoning. It is a reckoning. What's his resistances? We got 22% ward save. Iron Warden tag good. That's good. Good. So I think, uh, just briefly, one thing I want to point out as well. These guys here have huge amounts of missile damage, right? But the actual damage per shot is 45. That's in base damage and armor piercing damage. The reason why it says it's so high is because of the reload time reduction. See, the way it works is that the amount of damage is calculated based on every 10 seconds, right? So if you can shoot four times within a 10 second period, it multiplies 
that number, your damage output, by four, essentially. So you could have it up to five, because the, the cap is reload time reduction of two seconds. So, yeah, with 45 times four, that's why it's 185. Uh, it's 180, yeah. It's funny, there was actually no cap in that in Warhammer 1, so it was possible to get like ridiculously high numbers, like a million missile defense, a uh, million missile damage, just because um, the reload time was like 0.1 seconds. But the units couldn't actually shoot that fast, the animations were limited for it. So it looks like we got some homing shots. That's it. Okay, these guys are going to be coming in pretty soon. They're straggling behind. Fine. Absolutely deleted those shades. Alright, that's it. Come into the front here because we're a little bit weak at the flanks. Oh yeah, just get deleted. Alright, um, could use a rune of slowness on the dragon. Might have been a waste though, because it looks like it's about to die. Yeah, that was a waste. <laughs> I shouldn't have bothered. Good job. But Vengeance Dragons are really good. <laughs> this is performing way better than the Hammer of Doomstack so far. Way better. Master of Runecraft. Will of Iron. Guess one of the good things is they're coming in in waves. That helps. It's got such short range. That's it. That's it, you can tank that. So these guys here have guard mode on. And whoever has the least amount of ammo can get replenished. Okay, we've got Malice Dark Blade coming in now. I need you to tank that for as long as you possibly can. I think they're less likely to dodge while they're in a big cluster. Definitely keep um, keep this one away from it. And then when that runs out, we use the Rune of Negation. Just provide him as much ward save as... Holy shit! Malice has already used Sarkhan. Holy fuck! He's gone! I was... I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, alright. We're, we're gonna need the Rune of Negation on... You, I think. Just be as tanky as possible. Uh, you get this, and you get that. Okay. So we increase it further with reload time reduction. It's currently at two seconds, right? Yeah, that's the cap. All right, all of our heroes are holding. Good. A little bit of damage over here because of the Reaper Bolt Throwers. So I could pop that down on them, but let's hold it for now. I can't believe how quickly they took out Malice Darkblade as Sarkhan. Uh, yeah, right. We're gonna start taking casualties if we don't do that. All right, Caribbean incoming. That's okay, because these guys here have got heals. Um, don't even really need to use this. Oh, god, just deleted. Okay, I need more ammo. Don't want to run out with any of them. Don't really mind if the uh, artillery run out, though. Keep the quarrelers going. Yeah, I can't do much about that. If I use the, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's let's just see if that does work. I don't think it will, but let's just see. Is the art oh, there's the art losses already! Holy crap, that was fast. <laughs> I think we did better than what Order Resolve was going to do. Um... Because, yeah, we basically took, like, nothing. I only got to use that once. Absolutely destroyed them.
Yeah, anybody still think hammer is a good? I mean, yeah. <laughs> you give this to um, uh, Thorgrim, it won't perform quite as well. But still, holy shit. Yeah, okay. Now, is it an invincible doomstack? No. The, it went up against a bit more than two full stacks. Um, and we corner camped. There are definitely scenarios where this army could get totally fucked up, for sure. I think this was a good test for them to see just see how much damage output. Because uh, Dark Elves can be quite difficult to deal with. The fact that they took out Malice Darkblade that quickly was very impressive. I kind of expected him to tank that for quite a bit. Uh, it's very much not micro-intensive, which means any idiot can do it, which is bonus points, because Doomstacks are supposed to be easy to use. Um, so in terms of a rating for this, I don't think I can warrant, warrant it a 10 out of 10. I'm leaning more towards like a 9.2. <laughs> because I feel like it's better than a 9 out of 10, but there's no way I can give it a 10 out of 10 because I know it can't handle too many armies. And there's many situations, like if it gets ambushed, it's fucked. Um, very rarely would you ever see a missile-based army actually get a 10 out of 10. The 10 out of 10s are basically reserved for... Um, like, invincible hero doomstacks that just cannot be beaten. Like, the Tuscor Chariots, the Pompous Doomstack, that kind of stuff. The Isabella with, like, 19 Vampires strat, that's like 10 out of 10 stuff. Um, which would dump all over this uh, without too much difficulty. I mean, if the AI was in command of that kind of stuff, it would obviously do very badly because it would just charge in and not use its magic properly. Um... But in the hands of the player, definitely 10 out of 10, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I reckon 9 out 9.2 out of 10. Um, I usually don't give, like, fractions of those sort of numbers, but I think it's better than a than a 9, but not quite a 9.5. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate all the effort the guy went into making this Doomstack, because it was good. This is actually really good. Oh, look, they want to come back again. Should we Should we go again? <laughs> they, they underestimate. If someone says close victory. Um, well, let's see if they can do it again. Why not? Give it another go. <laughs> Maybe they should have brought that in in the first place. They underestimated it. But that's actually a strength, for sure, if the AI en underestimates you, and they don't send four full stacks at you because you're, you know, full of melee infantry that are beefed up, but that actually perform like crap. Um... Let's just do the exact same thing we did before. Because that just worked so well. Okay, hang on. I need to set up this checkerboard. More like a... They need to be in squares. That's where they uh, perform the best. So take your time. Make it nice and neat. Which it didn't. Okay. Quarrelers! For the High King! Okay, we'll just get organized as we go. Ah, oh, fuck, I ruined it. <laughs> I ruined it. Ah, oh, crap, I ruined it. <laughs> it still still work, but I ruined it. It's alright. It's just not as neat and tidy now, that's all. Alright, so this guy is uh, getting some regen while we're moving up here. And that's another big plus of this kind of army over hammerers, right? The hammerers, after every fight, are going to take damage because they can't dish out damage unless they're in combat with the enemy. And even if they're only going up against goblins, well, the, the enemy is still going to do some damage to you. Yeah, I'm just going to reform because, like, that... That wasn't really ideal. Whereas quarrelers don't have to take damage in any battle, necessarily. Because their bounce power is tied to their ammunition, and you always get your ammo back at the end of each fight, whereas you don't get your casualties back. Unless you're playing, like, Skaven. Just eat, eat your enemies. There we go. 
That's any good targets for that. Let's just wait. That's not as neat and tidy as the previous one, but that's okay. And they're somewhat clever, kind of using the terrain to cover their advance. Alright, let's see how well Rakath handles this. Have a rune of slowness. LOL! <laughs> bitch. Age Holy crap. Skill. Uh, I don't think this will do much, but whatever. Thorek Iron Brow. By Grumney. Thorek Iron Brow. Vengeance. Yeah, I didn't do well with that one. That's okay. Oh yeah, they've still got the Dark Conduits. It's very... We've got to make sure they don't get in here. Dark Conduits so dangerous. So the funny thing is, I'll just pause it for a second. If we had gone up against this army here, as the Hammerer army, and they had Dark Conduit, that would have fucked us. I would have had to have wasted all of their Dark Conduits before we get into it. I was just lucky for that particular situation that they didn't have Dark Conduit. God damn, they're just dying. They're just straight up dying. But Legend, what do I do if I want, don't want to corner camp? Oh, it's super easy. You just lose. It's so easy. Because, <laughs> yeah, if this army surrounded us, that'd be very difficult to deal with. Just be careful. Try to make sure they... Uh, they don't touch us because we don't want them using Dark Conduit on our infantry. Keep him tanking. We don't even need to use this because the Quarrelers are just dishing out so much damage. I feel like that Cribbidus should probably go down. Uh, this guy here is taking too much damage. Alright, let's pop this down there. Use Dark Conduit on me. Just leave it be, leave it be, we're okay. Alright, let's get a bit of a heal there. As the army losses, don't use Dark Conduit. Don't use Dark Conduit. Come on, leave me alone. Don't use it. We walked out of this one with minimal casualties. Again. But yeah, they. S All it takes is for them to stand there and use Dark Conduit and fuck up an entire unit. And the, I think overall the heroes are in slightly better shape, thanks to the uh, Rune of Valaya. Um, only took a handful of casualties. Another heroic victory. So that's after two heroic victories in a row. I like that they could just, like, dump down on a Legendary Lord like that. Oh, there was two Legendary Lords. That easily. Didn't even notice she was there. Your end is nigh. Do they want to come back again? Nah, I think they've had enough. The thing is, if you've got Lightning Strike, yeah, that's going to be so much easier for you. Yeah, Malice is still here. But yeah, that did really, really well. I was very impressed with that. So, um... Yeah, 9.2 out of 10. I feel like I feel like that's what it should be rated. Even, yeah, I, I feel like 9.2 out of 10 is fair, based on its performance. Because it's definitely not invincible. If they did send four full stacks at us, I feel like we would really struggle with that. Because um, we would we would probably run out of ammunition even with the engineer. If I'm just thinking about ways to possibly make this stronger, um, I would probably get rid of the runesmith. And get another engineer just for even more missile strength 
Don't worry too much about reload time reduction. Not going to get any extra range, but it would give extra ammunition. That's the only thing I could really think of, because honestly, rune magic just isn't really doing it for me. Um, yeah, it just isn't really doing it for me these days. Um, I mean, it's okay. It's better than nothing. I just feel like extra ammunition and missile damage on these guys here would be pretty good, because yeah, the stuff that stacks here would be the triangulation, so we get extra 12% missile strength. Uh, we can give them extra speed. That'll stack. Requisition, extra 20% ammo would stack. This doesn't stack, so we'd get... Uh, flash bomb, which could be useful for slowing them down. Um, restock, five of those. So yeah, there's a few things in there that can provide a lot of value for the army. As opposed to the runesmith, which... The main... I, th I think in those sort of situations, the main thing the runesmith was doing uh, was the rune of negation. But rune of negation really took a serious nerf um, by not being air effect anymore. The fact that it only like, uh, fixes up one unit is a bit of a problem for it. It's just, it's just not that good. And Ruin of Wrath and Ruin is very good for sieges, but you only really need one character to have it. And these guys here have plenty of ammo anyway, so sieges wouldn't be a problem anyway. So yeah, I think that's the only thing you could do to make this even just just a slightly little bit stronger is just get rid of the runesmith and get another engineer because that's what you like extra twenty percent ammo, twelve percent missile damage. That would that would account for a lot of extra oomph for the army as opposed to a little bit of uh, damage reduction with him. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Really appreciate the guy for sending this one in. I think it's a great doom stack if you're playing historic iron brow. Build this doom stack here, very good. And uh, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.